So what is the small spot kit? Occasionally we have users ask us about analyzing very small samples, typically three to four millimeters in diameter. The beam coming from the instrument is much, much larger than many samples. The samples that we're, we are referring to here are about three by four millimeters approximately. So that means we need to focus the beam appropriately. This is a small spot kit and this resides inside the sphere detector compartment area. And there's two guide pins and two set screws here that allow you to secure the small spot kit into the area before the integrating sphere. And there are four locations. One is marked C for the center mount location. One is marked T for the transmittance port location. And the other one which currently does not have the focusing lens is R for the reflectance port. There's also an open position such that the light from the instrument can simply pass through without interacting with a focusing lens. This whole thing can rotate depending upon where your sample is in relation to the sphere location. So for example, if my sample was to be located here, I would simply move the lens to the T position. If my sample was actually inserted inside, we have a center mount accessory such that the, the sample is located at the center of the integrating sphere, then we would use the C position. Finally, if my sample was very small, and I wanted to perform a reflectance measurement, I could then use what's called an aperture kit and in, in conjunction with that, rotate the lens, which is currently not there, to the R position. Those three, lo those three locations allow me to focus my beam to approximately three by four millimeters. In conjunction with that, in the sample compartment, we sometimes use, but not always, an art what's called an iris aperture. This allows us to modify and mold the beam spot to more accurately uh, interact with the sample without impinging upon the sphere itself. Small spot kit, a critical component of the 150mm integrating sphere.